That little basket is the same to the Army blimp as a periscope is to a Navy submarine. It's the new eye of the air, and the theory is that when the blimp's above the clouds, the observer will be lowered and remain invisible to watchers from the ground. They naturally are looking for a blimp and not an acrobat. Up in the air, all is activity. They've reached enemy territory. Presumably, a battery of heavy guns is doing a lot of damage, and the blimp has been assigned to spot its location. The observer goes over the side, into the gondola, and is lowered by means of winches aboard the blimp. A telephone connects the car with the dirigible, and the observer is supposed to report enemy activity. This information is transmitted to headquarters on the ground by radio, and the high command knows just what's going on. In case of alarm, or when the watch is over, the winches go on the job again, and the observers hauled back. And the speed of the hauling depends on the reason for the hauling. It's a marvelous idea, but I don't know what good it is in peacetime. At that, it might help the Prohibition boys. So don't do what you shouldn't do. You might find someone peeking in your window. Here's a hair-raising experience, but it's all in the day's work to Captain Alberta. Hair experts and doctors are puzzled at the captain's strange gift. He claims he feels no sensations whatever in his scalp. And instead of pulling his hair out by the roots each time he does a stunt like this, it grows in stronger. It's one of the queerest things in medical history, and the most powerful pressure has no effect on it. The opposition tries hard, but the captain wins by a hair.